Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into another new deck inside of Clash Royale, where today we're going to be playing a Golem 3 Musketeer deck that's actually absurd. If you look at the Elixir cost, it's 5.0 Elixir, where you have other decks like Mortar Cycle at 2.9 Elixir, plenty of other meta decks around 3.5 Elixir, and this one being at 5 Elixir is super, super expensive. However, it definitely works. Golem Double Minion is a little bit troll. You only have log is your only spell as well but you can actually catch some people off guard with this deck i wouldn't say this deck is a staple of the meta by any means but it actually does work pretty well against certain matchups and let's go and try it out this deck's been pretty fun for me so i'm going to try it out with you guys inside of a grand challenge i've done a lot of trophy pushing with this deck actually and it had some pretty good success and uh, maybe we'll get into a trophy pushing battle in a little bit but let's go ahead and start off battle number one and see if we can pick up this win now obviously you want to get to your elixir collector as soon as possible with this deck in fact i've gotten pretty bad luck by having having the elixir collector not in my starting hand in fact it's not going to be within my first pretty solid amount of cards and as he plays his witch over there the uh, collector is going to be one of the last cards inside of my deck besides three musketeers and at this point guys we're going to have to do something crazy we're going to play our minion horde here then our lumberjack onto this witch notice how i made sure that that witch didn't lock onto that minion horde or else we would have been completely toast and that was actually super super good for us now the lumberjack's going to die giving our minions a big old rage spell before of course that e-wiz comes down we're going to go ahead and log that e-wiz make sure we take it out so it only gets one hit onto the tower right there and get ready for our elixir collector which should put us in a pretty good spot all right i want to play my elixir collector in the center for the miner so that's what we're gonna do i'm sure he might have a poison spell or something of the sort but the thing is if they play a poison spell against your deck or if they play fireball if they play any of their big spells like that you've got the three musketeers and the minion horde to bring the pain and uh, yeah so far so good now i'm even gonna go crazy right here and play a golem in the same lane as the pekka you guys might think i'm insane for that i might be insane for that but still we've got our three musketeers ready and locked and loaded to drop those right on top of the golem when we need to or on top of that P.E.K.K.A. when we need to. Here's a graveyard, actually. Now, that's a wild card right there. And uh, with the princess going in, this is sort of interesting. I'm going to turn this Lumberjack around onto this P.E.K.K.A. Plus our uh, Goblin Gang right here. This is turning into just a really wild game right now. Minions are going to die. I've got my minions and my Spear Goblins right there. This is, this is really interesting stuff. But guys, the whole point of what we're doing right now is making a big Elixir lead for ourselves. Even with this... Uh, even with this E-Wiz coming across, I'm going to go ahead and play our log to make sure we only take probably two hits against our tower. Right, Actually, only one hit with a perfectly played log right there. And guys, once again, we're going to play our Golem. And I don't really think there's too much this guy's going to be able to do. He hasn't shown a rocket or a fireball or any spell like that. So I'm feeling really good. I'll play my minion horde against this hog rider. Double... Uh, just a double push down this lane right here from him is going to be sort of insane stuff. He doesn't really have too much elixir now. Minion Horde's going to fly across the lane. There goes his princess. Here goes our three musketeer, which, of course, I'm going to have to kill this princess to make sure our three musketeer does not get splashed all over. He does have the P.E.K.K.A., which he'll play right on top of our three musketeers very intelligently, but it looks like my Goblin Gang will be able to save one of the musketeers. And at this point, guys, it's going to be GG. Really nothing he can do with the elixir that he has inside of his hand. And, uh, yeah, that's basically how you play this deck. Now, this guy had a really strange deck with almost no spells, so don't know if that's going to be able to do it. But look at all the minions right there. It's a minion horde times two, and uh, wow, we had like eight minions on the map with our minion horde plus our minions, and that's going to equal GG well played. Check that out. Three crowns against that guy right there. Not enjoying Clash Royale. I had to get a new iPad, uh, so that's probably why it asked me right there. Anyways, let's go and get into the next one against Nacho GT and keep this push up. We're, uh, we're doing pretty good work. Pretty good work with this Golem 3 Musketeer deck, guys. It's, it's super fun. I, the reason I played this deck is because someone played it against me, and when I was using a fellow Golem deck, he just completely destroyed me because of the fact that I didn't have anything to kill his 3 Musketeers with. Moving onward right here, I'm going to play the Goblin Gang and get ready with our Lumberjack in a moment, as I do know that Princess would get some pretty awesome value right there. Lumberjack's going to run across. Already, this guy spent so much Elixir, and our Lumberjack is simply going to just decimate his push right here. And uh, yeah, I can get ready with my golem even going against log bait even if this dude has an inferno tower i'm not worried let's just go ahead and bring it on right now and see what he's gonna try to do now we've got our minions for the princess he's gonna take one hit right there don't really mind too much him playing the princess means our minion horde is going to be in a pretty good spot plus our minions are going to get like 500 damage against the tower always remember that and now that everything is going down here time to play our minion horde this is going to be our big defender for our golem hopefully he doesn't have arrows 
He's gonna play a rocket against our minion horde, guys, but that's gonna leave one of our minions alive. The golem is gonna get close to this tower. Please let that golem kill that inferno. It's gonna get so close before it dies, but guys, now it's time for the lumberjack. Lumberjack's gonna go hard, and that knight, unfortunately, is gonna not be able to pull our lumberjack. Look at all of that damage right there. Even with the lumberjack being frozen, it's gonna beat that tower all the way down to zero, guys. Can you ask for a better start to the game? I don't think so. And uh, this game is going super, super well. If he plays Goblin Barrel, we're going to actually play our minions right here and use our log for this. Wow, that's a beautiful play right there to make sure we don't take nearly any damage. 1,367 HP is three rockets away, and we have been styling all over Nacho GT, and we haven't even whipped out our three musketeers yet. Oh, obviously, him having the rocket means the three musketeers are going to be a little bit tricky to pull out, but guys, I'm still feeling confident. Let's just keep on doing what we're doing. I'm going to play the golem before our elixir collector goes ahead and does work right there. Princess is going to lock on. Let's go and use our goblin gang to knock her out. Log's going to go in, and I will take that splash damage, or that damage trade, all day, every day. All right, there goes the Ice Spirit. I've got to play my Lumberjack and then my minions. Hopefully, we'll be able to protect this before it gets down to Rocket Range, which we will. He's going to go ahead and play his uh, Inferno Tower right here. So let's play our Minion Horde. If he plays his Rocket, guys, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. I'm not the only one who makes misplaced Rockets, guys. There goes our, our beautiful... Oh! Did you check out that prediction right there? Gonna knock everything down to zero. The beautiful prediction log against that goblin gang is gonna basically equal GG. Well played, guys. That is gonna be the end of the battle. No three crown, unfortunately. I don't think we're gonna be able to pull that one out. But guys, that was the dirtiest ro or the dirtiest little prediction you've ever seen. Looks like his princesses are gonna go in. We're gonna make sure we take all of those out. Log's gonna go down as well, giving him a tower just for, oh wow, another beautiful prediction log, guys. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be GG. Well played, another solid dub. Yeah, that's how you do it. Even against log bait, you can pick up some massive, massive wins using this deck. And uh, that's what happened right there. Let's get into battle number three. All right, Nacho GT. Ended up taking him out right there. Let's keep on moving on and moving on. And this deck is hilarious. So, you know, he was using his rocket against the minion horde because he didn't have anything else to play. And obviously, once you get rid of their rocket, their fireball, their poison spell, the other, like, once they use it, on your Elixir Collector, your Three Musketeer, or your Minion Horde, just go ahead and play one of the other two, because most of the time, they're not gonna have the answers to your deck. And uh, yeah, that just worked out perfectly for us. All right, next battle against Pei Garko right here. He's gonna end up starting with an Executioner. I'm very confused as to what to play. I'm gonna play my, uh, I'm gonna play a Three Musketeers. Looks like that's not gonna be the perfect play. Executioner is gonna lock on to the Musketeer, actually. Ooh, see, that's why I didn't wanna play the three Musketeers like that, because we took so much damage. But look at the other side. We've got two Musketeers hanging out by themselves right now, and we're gonna get some big boy damage. And we're actually ahead one HP. Gotta give them a thumbs up being ahead one HP, guys. Looks like Executioner Tornado is going to be the name of the game. I, I really hate going against Executioner Tornado. Executioner Tornado. So, going to be a little bit tough stuff. Here goes our Golem. Let's see if he has another win condition. He's going to play down the lane. Looks like we're up ahead one Elixir, two Elixir. Guys, I'm counting because I played an eight Elixir Golem. We're at five Elixir, so we're at three Elixir. We're ahead three Elixir against this, guys. Against this, guys, so I'm feeling good about that. And I don't really know how to back up this Golem. You know, if I play something, more likely than not, it's just going to get tornadoed. So why don't we just go ahead and start off over here. I'm going to let that Executioner and Knight do its thing over here. My Lumberjack's going to go in in a moment. Now we're going to play our minions. This should be able to do a little bit of work for us, guys. I'm going to play the Goblin Gang as well. He's going to finally play his Tornado. Goblin Gang's going to go down this left-hand lane. He has another Knight and Executioner. Oh, this is going to be such an annoying battle, guys. And I think we might have blown it. Now that he has a Hog Rider in rotation, this is going to be tough for us to do anything. Let's play a log against all of this. I might just have to soak up this damage from the Executioner. I don't feel good about it, but it is what it is. We'll take two Executioner shots. Not the end of the world. Here goes our Elixir Collector. Probably have to be, you know, I have to be very, very wary of this Lightning Spell. This Lightning Spell can give us a lot of problems as we prep our Lumberjack. And uh, yeah, this is sort of just going to be the start to the game right now. In fact, I'm going to get a Golem going in. He's probably going to play his Hog Rider, so we got to get our Lumberjack ready right here. Here goes our Lumberjack, thinking that he might play a Lightning Spell. I played it a little bit off to the left. Here goes my minions right here. See, the Lightning Spell will end up hitting, but I think we might be able to hold off a lot of this push. Rage Spell is going to go down on the tower, so the tower is actually going to put in some pretty awesome work, guys. And uh, maybe we go ham right here. I don't know. This seems pretty stupid to me, but let's try our three musketeers. Even with the tornado, maybe we can do something right here. Looks like we're doing okay right now. Log's going to go in. Time for a minion horde, guys. I am going crazy right now. Ice Spirit's going in. Please don't have anything to kill our minion horde. Please, please kill that executioner, please. Nicely done right there. We're going to overload that tower. That is exactly what we needed, guys. I'm going to even get a golem going down in this lane. 
A little bit silly because this hog rider is going to be the name of the game right here. But with our minions, with our log, we might be able to do something right here. His log prediction is going to go in vain. Hog rider. How did the hog rider get a hit against the tower, guys? This game is rigged. You saw it here on my channel. You did see that rigged hog rider make its way through, guys. Ugh. How did that happen? So ridiculous. Let's get our goblin gang going in right here, guys. Lumberjack's going to go down. He's not going to be able to do anything against this. Three musketeers going down on the executioner. How did they target the exit? Oh, it's beautiful. GG, well played. Let's go. Rigged Hog Rider Lightning right there, and we're still going to be able to pick up that win, guys. Very nicely done for GG, well played. And uh, yeah, that's why this deck is so much fun to play. It's absurd how much damage you can actually do with this deck. The Three Musketeers, the Minion Horde. Guys, this is your trifecta right here. Elixir Collector, Three Musketeers, Minion Horde. The moment they play Poison Spell, Fireball, or Lightning Spell, you know you can swap with one of the other ones, and they're going to be completely run over. Even though that guy had Execution or Tornado, eventually we cycled him out and just ran minions down his face until he couldn't take it anymore. And uh, yeah, that was basically it for the win. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This deck is one of my favorite decks out right now. It's a little bit troll. I wouldn't recommend this deck as like the top, a top tier competitive deck, but it does have certain counter matchups that it plays really well. And uh, yeah, try it out. Let me know what you guys think about this deck in the comment section below. That is going to wrap it up for this video. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.